Uh, hi, John here. Um, Wednesday, uh, 18th of um, December, 2013. Um, just update uh, where we are with our uh, warrants uh, for this um, um, Maui Admiralty Court Marshal hearing. Uh, so far, so good. Just finishing off the um, certificate side of the documents, that's the um, title itself, the transfer, and I'm writing to the Land Register General, Robert Muir, to force a transfer of the title from Simon Roundtree and James Brown, the um, illegal purchasers of the land on 61 Cook Street from Doug Ricard Bell from Jamie Peters. <coughs> so in that order, uh, we're going back to take the, the title right back to a old title where it came from in the first place. So the Crown says it owns the uh, land and so we're testing the land uh, the, the Crown title out of who they bought it from and an image of their conveyancing title. It's quite a bit involved with um, um, proving uh, that there was a fraud in the title itself on the transfer um, without registering our interests. We had um, Kafaru, Manukau and Awanoa uh, interests in the title. Those are the original titles that were rejected on a uh, um, uh, lodgement, a caveat lodgement of a title claim interest a financial interest in the land block. Right, it's 2.9 hectares. Uh, so it was sold uh, without our um, title being registered as an interest because they wanted to sell it uh, through the Admiralty Law, Maritime Law, uh, and the Crown's agents themselves um, assuming they, are, they have no interest but the interest of their agents who transfer the title from a land freehold land title owner. Now the title is bad right from the start so uh, these, uh, these uh, claims have gone through the High Court in London, the Admiralty Court, so we are sitting right on the, Queen's, uh, the King's bench or the King's commerce uh, or the king's um, king of the sea title um, as the revenue uh, royal revenue collector or the creditor. So that's who we're acting now as a partner uh, to King William the Fourth, re admiral of the fleet of the navy of his own monarchy sovereign um, organic title straight to our. Um, Manukau, Kafaru, Wanoa title here in Auckland. Okay, so those are real graphic titles that they've turned down uh, from the titles of uh, the Manukau Land Company in Glasgow. Okay, Scottish titles. So they haven't proven where the name is, Manukau, on the title. They've got other names there. So that makes it illegal on the images of their title. Uh, so the last of all the documents, we have over 3,000 documents uh, that will uh, challenge any Crown agent, the Queen, uh, of their uh, legitimate title here for mortgages. Okay, that's all they are. Admiralty law was set up uh, so that they could um, go from uh, Britain, England, out into the world with that... Uh, with that um, conveyancing title uh, of these lands. So we're going to seize this land with the police and the uh, private investigator. So in this case, if I uh, take the Register General, Robert Mill, to pay for his mistake, 
okay, of his land title transfer, he has to pay for the mistake. He has to settle Simon Roundtree and James Brown of their title. They lose the land, and so does Ricard Bell, Doug Ricard Bell, <coughs> and so does Jamie Peters, because the title is going back they couldn't prove, beyond a doubt, against the Moai Crown Confederation title and all the uh, missing bits of their uh, claim to these uh, Auckland Super City boundary area. I'm telling you a graphic story here that no one has refuted uh, our claim and title. Okay, All that you see on Facebook is admissible in the high, court, uh, high Courts here. We're not going through the High Court, we're going directly to the High Court in London uh, in our own King's um, bench as the other judge that they've made silent here. There's supposed to be one Indigenous native um, Hawaii judge on the other side of their judge. So that made it unbalanced when they're saying it's balanced, so it's not. And we are going to balance the books up. We're going to do an audit on the other judges uh, who are collecting the revenue for the king. Okay? For the king. Not for the queen. For the king. So we are the king. Okay? While he's not there, we are there. We are, uh, we are being uh, legislated into the Westminster Parliament by King William himself. So those are uh, real uh, evidence, uh, and the Queen has reinvented herself now as the Governor of the Church of England. Okay, so they've uh, fraudulently set up the Commonwealth of Australia uh, government uh, through the Queen being a Governor of Australia. Uh, the Commonwealth of Australia is a company; it is a private corporation company that has consolidated their Native Land Act of Australia by using the Maori Te Ture Whenua 1993 Native Land Act in New Zealand. Okay? They have no substance of title to that claim, so that it makes it a fraud. It makes every title in Australia subjected now to this Moai Crown King William the Fourth, Admiralty Court Marshal and Sheriffs to seize on those titles. Okay, we're going to seize on this one here on Cook Street, and that's the end of it. Okay, so that, that'll set a precedent. We're here to take over this country from the Rogue corporate company in Wellington, John Key, before he runs away. He's trapped now, him. Uh, and he's set up with the Queen as the conspirators straight to uh, the Vatican uh, through their dubious, fraudulent, corrupted uh, documents of title okay, for their mortgages, for their cabinet in, in Wellington, for their governor here. Okay, so the Queen is now governor of this country under a federal state through the Supreme Court of New Zealand and Australia, Canada and America. Okay, so that makes America suspect now. So our partner, I'll tell you, true story, our legal partner is the government of Britain. Okay, in England. And our immediate uh, partner is the Secretary of State of Defence, um, uh, Philip Hammond. Okay? The Minister, Philip Hammond, and Sir George Zimbalis, he's the Rear Admiral of the Navy, the British Royal Navy. Okay, so that's the Navy itself, not the assumed um, Admiralty of the Queen, uh, uh, Prince Philip. Okay, not his Rear Admiral or his uh, assumed Commander, re uh, assumed. Um, um, Vice Admiral and Obama assumed Vice Admiral uh, Commander in Chief, right? not not Chief Commander, but 
commander in chief, Miss Chief. Okay, so they are uh, levied now. They are levied. They are debted against the pound note that we are about to print off as a currency of a debt note against all one billion Crown uh, Corporation agents. Okay, we are a corporation too. We're playing the same game. Only thing is we are the king acting, not silent partner, but real partner. Okay, to the British government and the British uh, High Court of Admiralty, the Chancery. The, the common law court, uh, the uh, the king's bench, not the queen's bench, the king's bench. The queen is suspect now as a treason, uh, treasonous person, as a private person in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and America, with the Black Pope, Adolfo Nicholas Patron. Both of those people, persons, corporate, are the Articles of Association of Illuminati Company, corporate company, okay? So they've got uh, that uh, as a threat against Moai Crown, uh, sovereign people of the Confederation of the People of the World, okay? And King William IV, okay? That's it. He put these legal acts together for the Admiralty to go around the world with our flag, our Confederation flag, the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag. Now everything happened in his time as the monarch, royal, sovereign, uh, between 1830 and 1837. That's the only time these laws were put together out into the world in commerce. Okay? And so in uh, 1933 they bankrupted America and used the Admiralty Law from then on uh, so we are claiming all of that back as fraud, okay? Corruption, fraud. Everything that's on Facebook now is centered around levy, uh, commercial contract levy, um, default convictions, okay? They're all, one billion of those people um, from the Crown Corporation and the Church and State, the Catholic Church and the uh, Church of England and other churches who are um, accessories to the fraud queen. Right? She's a fraudster, and so is the popes, the bishops, the ministers, and everybody that's in the parliament here. We've got them in a the box now, their, their photos and their names. So today uh, and tomorrow I will complete the transfer of the lands here, the first land title, certificate in the crown system back into a Moai crown system, okay? One crown to the other. One crown is fraud, that's that crown belonging to the Queen and the Vatican and Rothschild, Evelyn Rothschild. Those three people appear on the levy indictment arrest warrant um, of Moai crown confederation, okay? Moai is for everybody in the world that the six billion people uh, out there who will overrun the Queen, the Church and State and remove all the properties from them under this King William the Fourth. He's quite safe. It's quite safe to say King William and Maui statues are a organic title in the land stuff. Okay? So King William the Fourth is here at Plymouth. New Plymouth in New Zealand, right? And Devon in New Plymouth, that's the street in Devon, the, the little district. And also here in Auckland, Devon Port, okay? Over the shore, just from me here. And that we will seize, that to put it back into King William's estate here under Maui estate, okay? So all of his... Um, uh, uh, estate is in, uh, in uh, Esquire under Moai court martial and sheriff's um, um, orders from the pro uh, and um, the um, uh, private investigator acting private uh, court martial for Moai Crown and King William IV. Okay.
Okay, so that's what I wanted to say today. Tomorrow I'll put together the, the land title to transfer the title ownership on their documents. We're staying in the corporate system. We're, de we're dealing with the legal side of Admiralty law uh, and maritime law uh, linked to common law, which is us anyway. We're the organic landowners here. You're talking to a landowner, not someone that's a tenant that the Crown has put everybody into being tenants. Citizens, no, not citizens. They can't tell us what to do. Right? We're, they're subjected, the police are subjected to what we say now because we have owned up as the King's commerce <coughs> um, <coughs> royal sovereign. Okay, I'm, I'm a royal sovereign of the Tahitian people. You've got Napui, you've got Tainui, you've got Ngati Pro. Those are modern tribal iwi names that belong to the Crown. So they can stay there on that side as debtors. They're part of the one billion people. And all the Crown's agents, those all the roading contractors, and everybody that's got all the plumbing jobs here, the fisheries, Niwa, all of those companies will get the bill from Maui, Crown, and the sheriff. Okay? And the court martial will fi finish it off. The, the uh, Graham Ellett, Ellett investigations and other private investigators who wish to join us uh, in this worldwide business. Okay? It's worldwide. Where we take this flag, this confederation flag we've got here, lying around somewhere, uh, in every state in the world and claim back what belongs to us and the King of England, the only King that has a legal right to all the claim, to all the revenue that's been collected in that period of time from 1830 right till now, 2013, all the revenue connect collected has been collected without our judge besides the other judge, okay? So we are here as judge and jury, okay? So listen up, people. You're talking to me as one of the private prosecutors in this whole world, right? And so um, uh, tomorrow I'll go to the Sanford meeting of the fisheries, Sanford's fisheries, as a um, proxy to my, my boy who's a um, shareholder in the company. So I'll meet some people there, have a little talk, talk business, corporate, as normal. Okay, we carry on the normal business, but we look for fraudsters. We're up to get you, put you in our court on Facebook. When your name appears in the box, like all the rest of them that are there now, you are now a default convicted criminal felon. Okay, so that means we convert you into money and give it back to the people. Okay, so that's how it works, people. So thank you very much for now, and we'll get on with the business, finish off the documents, and then um, um, expect the land title to change. Okay, so then we can financially be on the way, put the crooks in bars, and, um, and get on with it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye for now. See you later. John Auckland. Be good.